guys it's Tam welcome back to my channel today you're gonna see me do my March setup in my Hobonichi cousin Avec and um, it's purely functional for me I like to do a lot of decoration yes but I just write down whatever it is that I already know that's coming up for the month and then I just add to it as other appointments you know come up and so um, March being the month in which St. Patrick's Day is usually celebrated, I just decided to do a green theme. At the bottom of my um, monthly layout, I just put some four leaf, well, more like three leaf clover washi tape at the bottom of the page. And then I'm going to pull my green washi tape. And I'm going to try to find um, some thinner green washi to kind of accent the boxes. So you're going to see me pull that in just a second. I apologize in advance for my stomach resting on the table. <laughs> I noticed that in my playback and the video was already done and over with. And I'm trying a different camera angle. So um, it's embarrassing to see my stomach wanting to make an appearance in this video i apologize in advance i pulled back from the table i'm trying to lose some weight so there you have it i didn't know i was as prominent as i was in the video but i definitely know it exists <laughs> i definitely know the stomach exists so um, now you're seeing me accent the um, boxes that I mentioned before with some thin green, some, yeah, some thin green washi from my stash. And I just kind of went through it to find the one that I like the most. And I'm doing every other box and so, um, or every other row of boxes. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is kind of use my highlighter to highlight the appointments that I already know about for the month of March and you know like I said I'm going to add to it as the month you know progresses but um, there are some things that I already know that are scheduled and or coming up so I'm just going to add those and I use my phone to track my appointments um, as they're scheduled like doctor's appointments dentist appointments meetings um, at school at work or whatever holidays birthdays and things that I already know in advance that are coming up and then as you know new stuff happens I add that to my phone calendar and then eventually transfer it into my Hovenichi calendar so I'm searching for a pen and you know I just use the trusty micron 0 0.5 tip in black and I'm going to write you know the appointments down with that and I just put like a little box before each appointment and then as the appointment takes place sometimes I check the box or put an X in the box and sometimes I don't I just leave it an empty box and that's fine with me um, I just like the boxes because it denotes one appointment from another so you know it doesn't look like a run on sentence when something rolls over to the second row and I'm using a green highlighter and I believe I got these highlighters from either Walmart Dollar Tree or maybe even Amazon I don't know but the brand name is Java Power line 2500 and I'm using the color Mal khaki and um, these were made in Korea so I love those pens I love the colors and I don't remember how much I paid for them but um, most of the colors are really really vibrant and I like the way it takes to my Hobonichi paper so I pulled a sheet not a sticker sheet it's a window cling sheet um, you usually just stick these to your windows or your sliding glass door or whatever but I'm using them as stickers and I bought this sheet from the Dollar Tree for one dollar and so to adhere it to my page I'm just using some glue stick so I'm just gluing the back of the um, cling 
and then I am just you know sticking it onto my paper and I'm not having any problems as I look at my pages while I'm doing this voiceover it is not coming up or anything I'm not trying to pull it up either so I just don't want it to come flying off of there so the glue is serving that particular purpose I also pulled one of my handmade sticker books and I have some St. Patrick's St. Patrick's Day stickers in my sticker book this particular one and because of the um, tight adhesive with you know putting a sticker onto laminated paper I have to use heat to lift these stickers up out of this sticker book which is fine I think I prefer having to use heat to get a sticker up off of the page and when I reuse them onto my pages I don't have any issues with them sticking down so I am not destroying the stickiness by you know pulling it up and reusing it on you know my journal pages the um, only thing that I was going to say is that I prefer for you know the pages to be you know laminated and really holding my stickers down than for it to be that type of paper where the sticker won't stick to it because I did use some deli paper or some nonstick paper or you know what do you call it baking sheet paper and those stickers when I open my sticker books that I use with that particular paper the stickers come flying off of there and I really hate that so if I had to pick a preference I would prefer to just use my sticker books that I created using laminated paper and then just putting a little bit of heat to it to get the stickers up off you know those laminated pages you know and again I'm just putting a little bit of heat on it then I'm you know using my exacto knife to kind of lift it a little bit and then I'm taking a pair of tweezers just to pull it slowly off of the um, laminated paper and again I have no issues with sticking it back down onto my journaling pages so I am going to write out the month of March again I'm using that um, khaki green mild khaki green marker and I am going to go around the um, letters using a green glitter gel pen so you know with the whole Benici paper you just gotta let stuff dry a little bit before you start um, going in on it and so I'm just trying to make sure that that March is dry so while that is happening I pulled another little sticker book that has um, some spring themed stickers in it and I'm just using that to continue decorating my pages and I forgot to write down the most important part of March is the first day of spring is happening on March 20th so I highlighted a spot to write down the first day of spring and I'm just using um, I'm going to use this entire sticker sheet actually but I'm putting down bunnies and flowers and carrots and little chick what do you call those chicklets chick the baby chicks <laughs> I wanted to call them chicklets is, is that a word I know there's like some chicklets gum but I don't know if you call baby chickens chicklets but anyway I put down all of the images on this sticker sheet at the end of the day but I didn't want to do that before making sure I wrote down everything that I wanted to write down and I went back after this video was recorded and I added a couple of more things that I forgot like my paydays and my bill days that you know where I have to pay bills and stuff like that so just added a couple of things off camera that you're not going to see in the video and again I grabbed my green glitter gel pen or yeah green glitter gel pen to go around the letters for the month of March and um, on the back side of that one of the stickers was bumpy and I just went all over the place with trying to go go around the letter R and it just you know trying to highlight not highlight it white it out just proved to be you know <laughs> a challenge because I tried to use my white um, what do you call it my white 
uh, Uniball Signal pen, and then I tried to use my washi tape, but eventually, not washi tape, white out tape, and you know that didn't work, so I had to do the old trusty liquid white out, which never fails so sometimes you got to go old school in your journals and you know that was able to clean up you know that mistake and i was able to just move forward so i'm just going around the letters and i like the way going around the letters make them pop off of the page and so doing this by hand is an alternative to using alphabet stickers so that's just something to keep in mind if you guys um don't have alphabets in your stash you could just get some markers that you like and just you know practice doing your letters and just going around the letters with a pen to you know give it a little bit of um pop i don't have the best handwriting and i definitely don't know how to do um what do they call it calligraphy or lettering i just you know I just use my regular this is how I learned to write in grade school you know handwriting and I have learned to love it along the way and it is what it is and it serves its purpose in my journals so like I said eventually I'm gonna use this entire uh, spring themed sticker sheet and I just ripped it out of the book entirely because I knew I wanted to use all of them and I just you know went crazy on my page just positioning them all over you know my march um layout so that's what you see me doing now So as I use the last and final sticker on the sticker sheet, uh, which basically says spring is in the air and there's one that said hello spring. So those are the only word stickers that was on that sticker sheet. The rest of them was just different characters and things like that. I'm now going to flip over to my March introduction page in my daily pages. And on my daily, um, the introduction page on my daily pages, I just do my bill pay setup so I just like to handwrite out my bills you know whether or not I paid them what day I paid them if it's not a regular monthly bill if it's like something outside of the norm what was it that I paid what day did I paid it pay it and how much did I pay and then I just like to check off if that was an automatic bill payment or if I autom if I um, manually paid the bill. So I went through my green washi uh, container and I found some more green washi. And I kind of used the washi tape that had the birds. It's a green background with uh, white birds or just, you know, um, the design of the illusion of white birds on the washi and I just thought that would fit with the spring theme with you know the month of March uh, starting the first day of spring and so that's why I chose that particular washi and I pre-print my bill spreadsheets for the year so I pay the same bills usually every month and I just you know type it up both copies of it and I just glue it onto the starter page for my month and um as the bill dates come up which is usually only twice a month i pay bills on the 15th and in the last day and i just go through each one of them just to make sure the right amount was deducted from my um bank account or i pay what what documenting whatever amount i paid and so I went back to that window clean sheet and I'm pulling some clovers off of that sheet. And I'm also going to go back to that laminated handmade sticker book. I'm going to pull a couple of things out of there as well. And I am going to pull some letters to spell out the word March. And um, that's going to be pretty much it for 
this um monthly starter sheet for the month of March I am NOT done with the month of February I have a couple of pages to do 27 and 28 which I think I'm going to record as soon as I get done with the voiceover for my uh, March setup and then um, you know try to get a video up for you guys doing the end of February and maybe even do a flip through for the month of February just to let you guys see how my pages for uh, February progressed so I pulled an alphabet sheet from color theory which I purchased from studio calico several years ago and I am still working my way through those alphabet sheets and I have no issues with them not sticking down and I love these sticker sheets and so I am surprised I still have any so I'm going to just try to position the month of March, you know, relatively, um, what do you call it, spaced out, you know, evenly down the right hand side of that page. And then I am uh, going to do a little bit of sticker decoration, like I said, with some more stickers from my little laminated sticker book. And then I'm going to take a marker. To use as some background coloring on the page and um, use my little glitter green gel pen a little bit more to finish things off and that's gonna be pretty much it so before the video comes to a close I just want to ask you guys to leave a comment down below how are you doing what are you working on is there anything that you would like to see in particular over here on my channel realize I've been gone for a few weeks and I'm gonna try to make today my video recording day for this channel like I said in addition to this video setting up my March pages um, or my March setup I am also going to try to record a video during the last couple of days of February and I am going to cross my fingers try to also fit in a um, either a glue book video or an art journal video so I'm not sure which direction I'm gonna go just yet but um, hopefully I am successful in doing that this weekend and actually am able to get a few videos out for you guys on this channel so um, in the description box is all of my information which includes my email address my PO box my Etsy shop which I am considering shutting down because Etsy is just they want to make all the profit <laughs> I mean the fees go up every year with Etsy and I am not selling things like that in my shop so in addition to the fee that they charge every month to have something listed there's also going to be additional fees on top of the fees that you already have to pay when you sell something and so it's it's just you know that that amount is going up again and I understand Etsy is a business you know and they're in it to make money but you have to determine whether or not it's beneficial for you personally and I don't know if I'm selling stuff in my shop you know to offset the cost of having stuff listed over there on Etsy so thinking about that but in addition to that my Instagram account my second YouTube channel and all that stuff is down there so please feel free to check it out it is always a pleasure I love you guys so much thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube family as always is a pleasure and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye side note you're gonna see me flipping back and forth in the end of the video I was going to put down my monthly tabs on my pages but I could not find them so that's what you see me flipping back and forth trying to find I, I couldn't find my tabs I have no idea what I did with them so in case somebody is wondering what is she looking for why is she flipping that's what I was looking for and I have no idea what I where, where I put them so